Self-checkouts. Why do... <laughs> why does it have to be in the baggage area? Literally yesterday, uh, Rachel's brother brought this up yesterday to me. I mean, they're like, put in the baggage, and then it takes a while. So I start plus like, skip bag, skip bagging, and then I'm set in places so like, unknown item in the area. It's like this tube of beef. I'm like holding... <laughs> It's like, you know, trying to get cell service or something like trying to, I don't know how the technology works. Like, all right, you're good now. And then it says like assistance needed. The woman comes over. She's like, what, what, do, what do you need? And I look at her and I just go, can you help me? <laughs> I don't know. I've been struggling for 10 minutes with it. And then it was like a bottle of wine. She's like, I need your ID. And I was like, okay, show it to her. And then she's like, wait, you haven't scanned it yet? I'm like, no, it said I need your help to do something else. She's like, well, you got to scan it. And then she's clicking it again. Three times this lady had to help me. The the surveyors of the self checkout um, jurisdiction love kind of flexing on you because the only difference in you and their job is that they have a vest on. They have mm. a vest on and they have a code they can punch in and they will wield that power as much as they can. Because I love that Walmart ten years ago was like, whoa, <laughs> we were just thinking it's actually really easy to check out of a grocery store. This is Why don't make, you guys do it? Make them do it. And so then we, as consumers, like, wait, this is easy. Why would I ever let anyone else do it except for, like, the occasional fruit, the occasional, um, yeah, weird item in the baggage area and the alcohol. Mm -hmm. And then they, like, they strut over so smug. You know, the big steps, too. You know, they come over and they're like, ah, need need a code? (laughs) Yeah, I figured. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, my wife made me buy these, and I don't know what they're called. Like, sir, that's asparagus. Like, okay. <laughs> well, how was I supposed to know okay. that? Okay. Well, the picture was in black and white, so it all looked like a vegetable. Well, like I said, I tried to scan lemon, and it wouldn't work. So, like, enter it, and it's like smaller, large lemons. <laughs> uh, like, whoa. whoa. It, it reverses it on you. It's like, you're a millennial. Yeah, um, with, and Katie's like, that's large. I'm like, what? You, I, you just know lemon sizes that well? Just like those baby apps, instead of those the size of lemon it's like uh like five weeks of gestation or like mm, second trimester how yeah. big was the eggplant or but the it's tough because sometimes you're checking out it's embarrassing like i we overheard yesterday we were checking out self and having a struggle but someone was checking out with a customer we uh with a employee and we heard the the cashier go ah, meat and potatoes type of week <laughs> <laughs> just like comment you can't comment on a on a person's groceries yeah you're like mm. Skipping the veggies this week. <laughs> nice. I see you. Yeah, you're not allowed to comment. I Yeah, I was at a golf course yesterday. And for one, still doing strong in the no added sugar, um, but also allergic to red meat. Tick bite. Tough to eat at a golf course. So all I have is a banana and a water at the turn. And the guy is like, yeah. oh, eating big, huh? And I was like, okay. I, yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> Being around certain guys. You ever? Yeah. I think every dude's maybe gone you're trying to diet or make efforts. You ever go to you go to like a dinner with a few guys and you go, I'm going to do salad. And they all go, uh, <laughs> and you're like, let me do it. I'm trying. That specific instance? No, I've never ordered a salad, but I can I can see that it's, it's coming. I remember, or like a like more of like a professional, like a work lunch or something. And these dudes, they all order burger, burger. I'm like, I don't want to, it's like 1130. I don't want a mm-hmm. big burger, but what? I, and I just eat one. Yeah, no, I'll, or, I, I have to order salmon at steakhouses now. And so that's my salad. That's like, oh, okay, no, no. steak at the steakhouse. Why'd yeah. we even come? It's like, because I'm a people pleaser. I didn't bring it up till now. Mm-hmm. That's why we came. Self-checkout has saved me a lot. Because I don't know how many times you ever gone to the checkout with Pepto, Sprite, and toilet paper. Handcuffs. Oh. oh. Yeah, toilet yeah, paper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it can be shameful sometimes. Do you... There's a few things in life that I pridefully am competitive about, and I'm competitive against strangers, and they don't even know it. So there's a few instances. So one is self-checkout. We're like, I will try to get to a self-checkout at the same time as someone. Like, I even have more items. I bet I can beat them. And like, they don't even know we're competing. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> like, I feel good about afterwards. Sure. So I do that. Second one is men's public bathroom. A lot of guys, ladies, you probably don't know. Men don't really want to wash their hands after you pee, because in your head, you're like, I didn't really even do anything, you know. Ways, but there's this social construct of like everyone's looking at me and you're like oh, okay you know i feel like you feel like most guys just uh, kind of put water under the hands they don't wash them oh recently i i went to the bathroom and i did like a soap was at, by the way it's hilarious how we're we're back to where public places are not that concerned with keeping up with the soap i mean during covid tell me did you ever occur a, a soap dispenser that was empty yeah because that, that'd be a crime and now they're back to like nah I've had two in the last week where like they're out of soap. So I did one at the airport and I was just going to give up. I'm like, guess I'll wash my hands. And then a guy goes, there's some soap in this one. I go, 
Well, and I did a split second where I was just going to be like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, I walk. I wasn't wanting soap. Sorry. I thought that was more water in that container. Yeah. So I actually didn't. I thought it was popcorn butter. <laughs> uh, so then I, he kind of forced my hand. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Ooh, good. And yeah. He, little did he know in my mind. I was like, yes, they're out. I don't have to do it. <laughs> I touched the part that everyone touches. Now I can go. <laughs> Yeah, that is kind of the thought. But uh, yeah, so I will like, if me and a homie get to the sink at the same time, I'm like, oh, I'm washing longer than him. I'm going to be so clean. I'm going to show him. Just going and going. I, thought, I don't know what you're going to say when you're competing in bathrooms. Yeah. You, I, I will try just, to pee longer. That's with my yeah. friends, though. What I do, and this has caused me a little bit of problems, but you're the next guy in a urinal, and I'll just start backing up. Like, how far can you go, dude? I start posting up on the wall. Yeah, yeah I'll get six feet behind it. I'm still making it. I have not done that with a friend, but I have done that in the privacy of other places. I've been like, man, the stream feels strong. I mean, do I have a fire hose down here? Jeez, you know, <laughs> and then I'm like, how far can I go? In elementary school, we had the, surely these are near on their last leg. We had the trough urinal. Yeah. So all these, you know, seven-year-old boys just line up <laughs> and, and then it was always like, who can pee the highest on the wall? The highest. And that's how I got doused in another man's, <laughs> another young boy's urine. <laughs> That's too bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I uh, I love the... You ever see how long you can pee, like with your friends or yourself, just self-timer? Dude, sometimes long pees, I get so bored. Sometimes, yeah. I'm like, when will it end? Yeah, you're trying to like, squeeze it. Like, can we get yeah. a little higher Come PSI on. towards yeah. the end? <laughs> we get a few... We, the, the, the flow here needs to yeah. get going. Yeah. Like, sometimes someone's like, hey, can we stop? I got to go to the bathroom. I'm like, ooh, I really have to go too. And he's like, no, I've been like holding it for a while. I'm like, all right, race then. Like, you know, like see who That's can, fun. who can pee the longest. Cause I, I think I can beat you. Mm. I love doing that. Cool. We'll do that later. <laughs> uh, you ever had, you ever held it so, so long that you feel like you might've risked your life? Yes. St. Louis arch when I was 11 years old. Mm-hmm. I was in, so much f- in the arch. Yeah. I was in physical pain because of how bad I had to pee. I thought my kidneys were going to burst. I had it once where it was like, we are, we can see the gas station and I'm, I have a I have a bottle ready because I'm like I don't think I can hold it for 30 more seconds. Oh, it's but it's kind of that sick. People talk about the shivers. It's like you know you you finish a marathon or something and that release. You're like wow I did it. What a horrible five hours. It's like you re, you start to release you're like this is euphoria. Yeah, maybe like, it was worth it. Any, maybe 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 any kind of that release like. You've been feeling like nauseous and sick for a couple hours. You're like, ah, today could be a puke day. You know, like I think I'm sick enough to do it. And then about 30 minutes. Today's a puke day. <laughs> I don't know. That's how I think about it in my head. Like, you know, this happens about once every six months. Today could be puke day. You know, you start feeling bad. And then like another hour goes by. You're like, it's not getting better. And then I think about 30 minutes to launch is like when it's the worst. Where you're like, you can't sit right. You're like, you know, you just want to get it over with. But start dude, salivating. When it starts happening. Oh, you feel amazing afterwards. Mm. Not during. During is absolutely brutal. But right. afterwards, that's the only time I've ever thought about running a marathon is immediately after vomiting. Oh, yeah. That's a good release. It is. 